Hello everybody, Nolan with Black Diamond Services. Out on my last job of the day. This room is the only one that has Berber in it. And I have vacuumed, pre-treated, let dwell for 15 minutes on this one. And then CRB across it. And now, as you can see, I am rinsing it out. This carpet has got some loose areas in it. The client is aware of that, of course. This house is going up for sale. It is a previous rental. Want to get the carpet cleaned up. So it's presentable for the sale of the house. Ultimately, the other rooms probably need to be replaced a little, a little bit, but we're just getting it cleaned up because since it's going for sale, a lot of cases people just change it out to what they want anyways. My wife does real estate um, a little bit as well outside of our business here and that's always, not always, but almost in probably 9 out of 10 cases what people end up doing to get that fresh start in my area seems to be the trend to either tr trade out the carpet for a different surface, tile, whatever it may be, hardwood, or getting new carpet to fit their lifestyle or preference and color and all that. So I'm just here handling business, getting it nice and clean. So the walkthroughs for the potential buyers will be much nicer. So As you can see, there's already a transition difference. I don't know what was over there. Um, like I said, she had a tenant in here for a while. We wore out the carpet a bit. So I'm gonna hit that area a little bit more. See if I can get that to lighten anymore or if it's just the carpet is worn out in that spot because of a bed being right here. Or that's where they got out of bed has a tendency to do that. So, do a couple of slow dry passes just to see if that'll help. But it's loose carpet right here too, so that has a burden on on how it wears. I told her before she gave me information on that she wasn't planning on doing anything else outside of cleaning the carpet that the only way to get rid of these obviously is to have it stretched she didn't want to worry about that right now just get it clean I said that's what I do so you can see what's coming through my sight glass here a little bit of darkness to the water there this area just needs a little more attention. And it should lighten up a little bit more. So I'm just doing some nice slow backstrokes. And then I'll come back over it and do the dry. Starting to look more white, like the cleaner, rather than a light brown or dark brown. So I know I'm no longer getting dirt out, which is a good sign. If you're a cleaner, I highly suggest getting a wand like this, something similar or this one in particular it is a two inch 
ends here so I don't need a, a cheater or whatever you'd like to call those hoses that go down to a one and a half inch. So it's two inch all the way that I'm running from the van to here. Has a glide, which is that bottom white piece there that you see. So much easier to push than one without. Where I used to work, we had cheap wands that didn't have the glide and were one and a half inch back hose, the cheater piece that skips it down to a one and a half inch from two. And I'll tell you what, after using this wand and using the two inch at least, I won't ever go back. This is a truck mount forms limited edition wand. As you can see, I got a black one to go with my colors. Black Diamond Services, of course. Definitely consider getting one. They are worth the money. Not the cheapest carpet ones. But, again, until I find something better, this is going to be what my business runs with, is truck mount forms, limited edition carpet wands. The black wands, I might consider some red ones in the future, just because black and red is my business colors, mostly black though. And you can see, I even got the black hose, vacuum hose for it. If I could find a non-marking red line for the steam lines, I might do that because the, the red color on my business is actually a lot less and it's actually, um, if you were to look at my emblem you'd see services, the background of it is in red with white lettering on top. So it might actually look kind of cool to have a black vacuum hose and then a red steam hose. That might be kind of neat. I could find a steam line that's as good as this one that's red and won't mark anything up. You know, little things like that will make you stand out whether you agree with that or not. For your business model, it's totally up to you. But Just like when you're trying to do your business website, your Facebook, your Google, all that, you want everything to match as close as possible. So wherever somebody sees you, it'll look identical no matter what source it is that they found you. So why not look the same exactly in the house, too, if you can? I've seen some other companies that have different colors. They have a carpet one that's a green color or you know, something like that. It's actually a company that has, has this exact wand that I'm in a Facebook group with. And that's the color he chose, so it fits his business model, which is awesome. I personally think instead of having a bunch of random carpet wands his also fits the same colors of his business just like his van is green and just like mine is much mostly black with some red and the white lettering anyways truck mount forums limited edition carpet wand not sure why they decided to call it limited edition it seems like they're going to be constantly selling them as much as possible and that they're not going to go away hopefully if so then i'm probably gonna have to buy a couple more point of this video if you're watching it months later anyways as we can see, this rug is cleaning. Let's 
just you see that difference left to right there it's doing good it's doing great Look how how beat up this carpet is I love seeing the change makes me feel good knowing that I'm giving somebody the clean cleanest carpet possible and again just like I touched on another video in the past you never know who you're gonna meet and who you're gonna work for so always be doing your best because this lady she's selling this rental but she mentioned to me that she had like six or seven other ones right so that's six or seven more potential houses that I could be cleaning right so even though this is the end of the day I threw her in last minute earlier today because she has the sign out and is gonna put it on the market here soon in the next day or so so I told her you know unless you don't mind me coming a little late today and getting you at the tail end of the day. At this point in time, I didn't have an opening that I could squeeze her in for a week or so, almost a week. And so I told her, if you can let me come in and do it today, I'll get you taken care of and get a happy client. You know, I don't mind doing the extra job. I am in the building stages of my business, and I mean, that's constant and always. You always want to be growing. So as an owner-operator at the moment, I'm happy to do little extras. Get somebody taken care of, make a happy client out of them. Because you're going to get referrals for sure. You can constantly do a step above or a couple steps past above what others would normally do. You have the ability to do do that. You're going to have a lot higher client retention, referrals, and people requesting you if you happen to be watching this and you're a carpet cleaner for a business. They're going to ask for you, not your coworkers and whatnot, which means more work for you, more opportunities. It's the way I looked at it when I was cleaning for a big name company in my area. You know, I looked at it as more requests, so the more requests that I got during slow season, it's hard to lay me off for a day or two because you'd have more requests. You know, people wanting you there, so they don't want to use anybody else but you. Therefore, you aren't slow. The company might be, but you aren't because you got all these requests, right? So can keep that in mind. Whether you're owner operator, own your own business, and you're not quite off the truck yet. And you got somebody working for you. You know, if you're an owner operator, obviously things are a little bit different. When you have an employee that helps you or does a route and you do a route here and there, if you've only got one van or if you got two vans, it don't matter. Still always do the best you can. Provide that quality workmanship. So that way, you will always have jobs lined up each year, whether they are once a year, every six months, or if they got a lot going on in the household that they need quarterly. Because I've had some quarterly accounts in the past that wanted me out all the time. You know, and that just kept me busy. Whereas some of the other guys I used to work with, would get laid off because they weren't requested 
or didn't go the extra mile and either the manager noticed or the customers noticed so they'd always wonder why they're not making more money when usually it has something to do with work ethic or making sure that you not only do a good job but you supply good customer service right you could do a fantastic job and be you know I don't want to say unpleasant but it's not really personable and the client will rather have somebody who's bold or at least you know pleasant to be around at the least whether you're very talkative or not doesn't always completely matter but if you're at least pleasant to be around you do a good job they're gonna ask for you so I've had people tell me in the past even with other business owners say yeah I ended up getting the job over somebody else because I was e easier to talk to and get along with even though the guy did a fantastic job he just wasn't the most pleasant person to be around and that was his words not mine for that situation so he ended up getting the work right and they did just as good a job as each other from what he told me so think about that and I can tell you from experience I used to be shy not talk to anybody not be willing to be in front of anybody didn't like speaking and in front of people, which I still am working on that. I'm not the best at it. I do get a little nervous, but being behind a camera, obviously, is a little easier because there's nobody in front of me, technically, that I'm having to speak to and talk about a subject. So if you feel like, if you know you lack that skill, it is something you can pick up and get better at. The way I got better is just practice. And I have to thank this industry and partial because I had no choice, right? You meet sometimes two to four people a day. You had to talk to them, right? You had to interact. So I just did the best I could until I got more used to it. And then it became natural. When I got more and more personable and easier to talk to, to complete strangers to me. And that's how I started getting more repeat clients or more requests back when I was an employee. So I find that to be very key in part of your success in growing, whether you're a business or a fellow carpet cleaner for another business. There's nothing wrong with that at all. You got work for a great company. They take care of you. That's the best, right? So my previous company, unfortunately, didn't do so much of that. So that's why I branched off and started doing my own thing, and I'm forever thankful for that. But keep doing what you do. Provide that quality. Be personable. Show people your, the value. Don't just tell them. Show them. You will get more sales. You will be more successful. I think everybody can agree with that. Don't oversell them. Show them the need. Don't just tell them the need. You can show them the need for something that needs to be done. They're going to buy from you because you're honest and not just trying to sell them. You're not just a salesman trying to pitch them on something that you think they need, but they don't think they need, right? So, show them the need. If you're already there for carpets and they have tile in the house, do a sample. Clean, clean a square or two of grout with their approval and show them. Do a white tile test. Tell you what, 
they appreciate that more than you just trying to sell them on something that they don't know for sure if they even need or not. So if you can make a difference in front of their face with only a few minutes of your time, they're going to like you better because you're not just trying to get money out of them. You're trying to show them that you're a professional and that you're trying to do the right thing by giving a demonstration rather than just trying to sell them a product or service, whatever industry you're in. You gotta find out a client's needs. You need to take care of them. You're just there to sell what you think you wanna sell so you can hit that dollar amount that you wanna hit. You're, you're not gonna get repeat clients from that. You may get sales, but they're not gonna want you a Again, after they realize that you just sold them, but you didn't sell them on value and overall service, customer service. These are just things that I am not making up. It's stuff I've read in books and I've heard from other successful individuals. That's the best thing you could do. Show them the value. Give them something to, to go off of. Don't just talk about it, prove it. I think that's the best form. Sure, it takes you longer, but you know what? you'll have more people wanting you and trusting in your service. You'll have more clients in the in run or in end of the day and you'll be happier. It'll leave you good reviews and We'll be back again for more. All right, guys. I took a little extra time on this this carpet so I can talk with you a bit. I hope you enjoyed this, this video. You can see this one. You saw it. It changed pretty well. It's one of the positives of Berber's. A lot of stuff's at the surface. So it usually looks better all the time after a good cleaning. All right, Nolan of Black Diamond Services, thank you so much for watching. Give me a thumbs up if you watched all this. Thank you. I appreciate it. This was a little bit longer of a video. I'm trying to keep it interesting as much as I can. So leave me a comment. Tell me your thoughts. What do you want to see? Do you like these carpet jobs? Do you want to see something else? When it comes up, I will try and film it and share it with you guys. Please subscribe. Thank you so much. For supporting a family business my wife and I greatly appreciate it even you just watching and helping by subscribing it makes a difference guys I do appreciate it thank you so much have a great day